if I'm ready to start a new color, I'll have cut a tail on my thread from my last weaving through and leave it off to the side here. To start a new color, I'd start weaving just like I would have any other row. I'll begin by checking to make sure that my row is going to be opposite of the last. Since I ended with over, I'm going to start my row with under. I'll continue to go under over all the way across my entire project. Again, once I've finished, double check. Is it opposite of the last row? If it is, I turn my stick on its side. I'll take my new shuttle with new yarn color and I'm going to pull it through just as though I had been doing my last color. Now, this time I should have two tails left on the side. They should be on the same side when I finish. I lower my stick and I pull my thread down so that it's tight against the last one. These tails need to be tied together. To tie them together, I would tie just like I'm tying a shoe, one over the other, and then I would loop them back the other direction. Pull tight, and if you'd like, you can cut the extra tail off. Then I remove my stick and continue weaving just like I'd done before. Continue weaving your project until you've finished. Once you're done, cut your extra off your shuttle Cut the extra, leaving a tail. Lower your stick and push it down to the bottom. At this point, bring it back to class and Miss Ness will help you finish it. If you have any questions as you work, please make sure to bring your project back to Miss Ness and I will help you.